Welcome back. Diversity, equity, and inclusion have become non-negotiable in the workplace. CEO of the Ray McKinsey Group, Sharon smith Akinsanya, joins us today to share how companies can develop strategies for being even more inclusive. Hey, Sharon, welcome to Inside South Florida. It's good to see you. Good to see you too. Thanks for having me. It's wonderful to have you on the show one, too, to have a conversation about inclusivity in the workplace. Of course, that is at the forefront of so many people's minds, corporations, and communities alike. It's a good thing. What are some of the few key steps we can take to creating a more inclusive workplace? You know, the first thing we need to do is decide. First thing we need to do as CEOs, CHROs, decision makers, leaders is to decide that it is important that we have a more diverse and inclusive workplace. And once that happens, we really need to make sure that we have the DEI marketing experts and strategists internally and externally on board to make sure that we are setting up goals and strategies and really, you know, doing the things that we need to do to make it happen. It's one thing to say we want to make it happen. It's another thing to do it and really put it in action. And that's why the internal and external experts are really, really important. It helps keep those CEOs and leaders accountable. I cannot agree more. You're, you're singing our song this morning. What are three common mistakes, Sharon, that you see people making when it comes to inclusivity and diversity in workplaces? Well, I think one of the things that they make is that, you know, continue to do the same things that they've always done, expecting to get different results. Things have changed. You know, George Floyd actually happened. You know, 1619 in this nation really happened. There's hundreds of years of systemic racism and we there's a price to pay for that so really the biggest mistake is not understanding that we got to make real change and we got to do things differently and we need to be committed to our commitment and also not having the resources like i said before really making sure that you're committed getting the resources you need walking side by side so that you can make real change the other thing is that we think that the ceos need to lead out loud you know, the buck stops with the leaders. Mm -hmm. CEOs cannot do this from the ivory tower. They have to make the decision because we all know that when the boss says, listen, this is what it needs to do. This is what it needs to look like. Then change then really happens. And so the mistake is that the CEOs are not taking the rightful place in this DEI journey. If the leaders of the organizations and corporations want to be awesome employers and amazing citizens and really want fair and equitable workplaces, fair and equitable communities, fair and equitable societies, then it will happen because they have the power and the influence. And that is as simple as that. Sharon, thank you for your time this morning on Inside South Florida and this message. Like I said, we always have the power of television to connect and send messages that are important. And that's exactly what we're doing here today. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me.